my thanks to my good friend, the most reverent Archbishop of York, for securing this important debate and timely debate and best wishes to him in his, I'm sure, busy retirement. COVID-19 has brutally made us aware that the severity and likelihood of infection discriminates against the poor and disproportionately affects black and minority ethnic groups and importantly, their children. Lower income groups are more likely to suffer from poor unbalanced diet, which can result in obesity, heart and lung disease, and particularly amongst those of Asian origin, diabetes, kidney and liver disease, and ultimately on their mental health. The global pandemic has made us focus on the need to urgently redress gross inequalities. Both Christianity and Sikhism lay great stress on concern for the poor and a fairer distribution of resources. But in our selfish rush for material prosperity at the expense of the needs of the disadvantaged, we have ignored important ethical imperatives necessary for a socially and economically healthy society. The pandemic is a timely reminder, as both our religions teach, that life has both spiritual and material dimensions, and I hope the government will take the lead in resetting the balance.